Under the Miami Lights, a showdown brewing. The city of Miami was alive with energy, the kind that only a high-stakes football game could bring. The Hard Rock Stadium stood as a beacon, drawing fans from all corners, eager to witness the spectacle. The air crackled with anticipation. You could feel the excitement in every cheer, every wave of the flag, and every heartbeat of the fans who had gathered to support their teams. Hard Rock Stadium was buzzing. The energy was palpable, a living, breathing entity that seemed to pulse with the rhythm of the crowd. It was more than just a game. It was an event, a celebration of sport and community. It was a Sunday night showdown in Miami, the kind of night where legends are made and memories are forged, the kind of night that fans would talk about for years to come. The Indianapolis Colts were in town, ready to face off against the formidable Miami Dolphins. Both teams had been preparing for this moment, their eyes set on victory, their hearts set on glory. The atmosphere was electric, fans in aqua and orange roared with every Dolphins move. Their passion was infectious, spreading through the stands like wildfire, igniting the spirits of everyone present. Colts faithful, sprinkled throughout the stadium, proudly donned their blue and white, ready to witness a clash of AFC Titans. They had traveled far and wide, their loyalty unwavering, their hopes high. The Dolphins, led by the dynamic Tua Tagovailoa, were looking to make a statement. Tua, with his precision and poise, had become the heart and soul of the team, a beacon of hope for Dolphins fans everywhere. They were coming off a dominant performance. Their confidence was sky-high, their momentum unstoppable. They had their eyes set on another victory, another step towards greatness. The Colts, with their young and electrifying quarterback Anthony Richardson, were eager to prove their mettle. Richardson, with his raw talent and unyielding determination, was ready to lead his team to victory. The stage was set for a classic gridiron battle, the kind of battle that would be remembered for its intensity, its drama, and its sheer spectacle. Both teams were ready, their destinies intertwined on this fateful night. This one had all the makings of an instant classic, the kind of game that would be talked about for generations, a testament to the power of sport and the indomitable spirit of competition. The showdown was brewing, and everyone knew it was going to be unforgettable. First quarter fireworks trading blows in South Beach. The atmosphere was electric as fans packed the stadium, eager to witness a high-stakes showdown. The Dolphins, fueled by the home crowd, were determined to make a statement early on. They came out firing on all cylinders, with a clear game plan in mind. Taigo Vailoa wasted no time in showcasing his arm, demonstrating precision and confidence. He connected with Tyreek Hill for a 60-yard bomb on the third play of the game. The Miami faithful erupted, their cheers echoing throughout the stadium. It was the perfect start for the home team, setting the tone for what promised to be an exhilarating contest. The Colts, however, refused to be rattled. They knew they had to respond quickly to stay in the game. Richardson, unfazed by the early deficit, orchestrated a methodical drive down the field. His composure under pressure was evident. He showcased his dual threat capabilities, scrambling for key first downs and finding Michael Pittman Jr. for crucial gains. The Colts' offense was clicking. The drive culminated in a Jonathan Taylor touchdown run. The Colts drew even. The shootout was on. Both teams were now locked in a fierce battle, each determined to outdo the other. As the first quarter progressed, the intensity only grew. Every play, every yard gained or lost, was met with roars from the crowd. The energy was palpable. Coaches on both sides were deep in strategy, making adjustments and motivating their players. The chess match between the sidelines was just as compelling as the action on the field. The game was a showcase of skill, determination, and heart. Each team knew that one mistake could be the difference between victory and defeat. Fans were treated to a spectacle, a true testament to the spirit of football. The first quarter set the stage for an unforgettable game, with both teams trading blows and refusing to back down. As the sun set over South Beach, the anticipation for the next quarter was palpable. The battle had just begun and everyone knew they were in for a thrilling ride. Defensive grinders and a momentum shift. Kenny Moore steals the show. The second quarter saw both defenses stiffen. It became a battle of field position. Big hits echoed throughout the stadium. The intensity was palpable. Then, a game-changing play swung the momentum. Colts star cornerback Kenny Moore II jumped a route. He picked off a Tagovailoa pass, giving the Colts possession deep in Dolphins territory. The Colts capitalized on the turnover. Richardson connected with Alec Pierce for a touchdown. The Colts had their first lead of the game. Halftime in Miami. 
a city, holding its breath. As the teams headed to the locker room, the energy in the stadium was intense. The Colts had clawed their way back and held a slim lead. The Dolphins, after a hot start, were looking to regroup. The halftime stats were a testament to the tight contest. Yards were almost even. Turnovers were the difference. The second half promised to be a dogfight. The tension in the air was thick enough to cut with a knife. Section 5. Third Quarter. Slugfest. Every yard contested. The third quarter was a defensive struggle. Both teams traded punts. Field position became paramount. Every yard was precious. The crowd, sensing the gravity of the moment, hung on every snap. Richardson and Tagovailoa traded blows. Each quarterback made just enough plays to keep their teams in it. The defenses, however, were the story of the quarter. It was a true battle of attrition. Section 6. Fourth Quarter Frenzy. A battle for the ages. The fourth quarter began with the Colts clinging to a three-point lead. The tension was unbearable. The Dolphins, desperate to get back on top, mounted a drive. They marched down the field. They were knocking on the door. Then, the Colts' defense stood tall. A sack by Quiddy Paye forced the Dolphins to settle for a field goal. The game was tied. The momentum swung back and forth like a pendulum. With time ticking down, the Colts got the ball back. Section 7 Gay's Glory A kick heard round the league. Richardson, showing poise beyond his years, led the Colts on a final desperate drive. He completed clutch passes to Pittman Jr. and Pierce. He kept the chains moving. The Colts drove deep into Dolphins' territory. The clock ticked under 10 seconds. The Colts' fate rested on the leg of kicker Matt Gay. The snap was good. The hold was true. Gay's kick sailed through the uprights as time expired. The Colts had won. Section 8. Echoes of Victory. Colts celebrate a hard-fought win. The Colts' sideline erupted in jubilation. Players mobbed each other, their joy palpable. The Dolphins, stunned by the last-second defeat, could only watch in disbelief. The crowd, a mix of stunned silence and heartbroken groans, slowly began to file out. The Colts had pulled off a thrilling, come-from-behind victory. It was a statement win. Section 9. Standout performances, shining stars on a night of thrills. Anthony Richardson, in just his insert number start, had shown incredible poise and playmaking ability. He was a true dual threat, keeping the Dolphins defense guessing all night. Kenny Moore the Saints interception proved to be a turning point, and Matt Gay, the hero of the night, delivered when it mattered most. For the Dolphins, Tygo Vailoa and Hill connected for some big plays, but it wasn't enough. The Colts' defense, resilient and opportunistic, made the crucial stops when it counted. Section 10. The AFC race heats up. Implications and looking ahead. As the season progresses, every game becomes a crucial chapter in the unfolding drama of the AFC. The stakes are higher, the competition fiercer, and the implications of each victory or defeat more significant. The Colts' victory sent shockwaves through the AFC. It wasn't just a win, it was a statement, a declaration that they were not to be underestimated. The energy in the stadium was electric, the fans' cheers echoing the sentiment of a team that had found its stride. They had announced their presence as a legitimate contender. The quarterback's precision, the defense's resilience, and the overall team synergy were on full display. This was a team that had gelled, a team that believed in its potential and was ready to take on any challenge. The Dolphins, now with a sour taste in their mouths, looked to regroup. The loss was a bitter pill to swallow, but it also served as a wake-up call. The coach's stern words and the players' introspective looks spoke volumes about their determination to bounce back stronger. The road ahead promised to be challenging for both teams. With each game, the pressure mounts and the margin for error narrows. Both the Colts and the Dolphins knew that the journey to the playoffs would be fraught with obstacles, but also opportunities for redemption and glory. The AFC was loaded with talent. Teams were vying for supremacy, each with its own set of strengths and strategies. The competition was intense, and every game was a battle, a test of skill, strategy, and sheer willpower. But on this night, under the bright lights of Hard Rock Stadium, the Colts had shown they were ready for the fight. The atmosphere was charged, the stakes high, and the Colts rose to the occasion, proving that they had the medal to compete at the highest level. 
The win in Miami would be one they would savor, a testament to their resilience and never-say-die attitude. It was more than just a victory. It was a moment of validation, a confirmation of their hard work and determination. As they celebrated, the Colts knew that this was just the beginning of a journey that held the promise of even greater triumphs.